coyote culture is presented by the Cheyenne River Predator Hunters and TS Customs. Precision firearms built for success. So this is another early season hunt. Derek and I are kind of pretty excited to get going. And usually right away in the beginning is kind of, we kind of go to those spots that, you know, you probably wouldn't go to and later in the season because they get pressured so hard. So we've called this place before and I, we've had luck at it. So I, I kind of knew, knew the area, the wind was perfect and it's off old dog town. All right guys, got the wind coming right here. Derek and I, first time out 2019. It's about this, the second of November. Here we go. Man, we let out a howl and those coyotes lit up and we had a pretty good idea we we're gonna get them to come in. And sure enough, before you know it, they're right in our lap. Double. <clears throat> Good way to get the adrenaline going. Yeah. Who needs coffee when you could call triple in? <laughs> Couldn't have went far though. No. Either you'll see it or you won't, because we're gonna look, but if you don't see another one get, <laughs> get loaded in the back. He's probably gone. Yeah. Nice uh, what is that? Yeah, Male, huh? Female. Well, big female. Big female. Big female. We knew there was more coyotes over further down, so we slowly started working our way to them. And we go to set up, and I'm walking out to set the call up, and Lonnie happens to notice that coyote way down in the bottom, seven, eight hundred yards away. So we get set back up and turn the call on, and play some TNT cocktail. One was really skittish, and it led us to believe it was the one we just had called in. And I'm pretty sure it was the one that the third one we never got a shot at. Oh, here's another one behind him. See him?
they the two of them they wasn't wasn't gonna come until this third coyote comes popping out of that little plum thicket runs right past them and well they all turn around and head out and come on up <laughs> Just over the hill, two stand, or our first stand of the day when Derek shot that double. It was just right over the hill, probably about a mile. But that just goes to show you, <laughs> you can call in the same coyotes twice. That's the second time I've done that. Yep. Called in the same ones again and had luck, which <laughs> is pretty cool. Derek and I actually went on for the rest of the day and we didn't have much luck, but we still called some coyotes in. It was an awesome way for Derek to kick off his hunting season and, you know, I'm and I'm also right there with them, so I'm ready to go full charge. Wow. Big nice coyote. <laughs> Man. Very nice. Really nice one. Big male? Big male. Yeah, right I could tell. I could tell when he's coming in he's super nice and I didn't want to miss him. <laughs> Alright, good deal. A couple in the box anyways. Let's go hopefully go get that one that you shot earlier. Next time on Coyote Culture. Derek and Lonnie are back out for some early season calling. The overcast conditions are making it difficult to spot coyotes. Yeah, and they blend in perfect with that snow and this, this grass. Lonnie's surprised when a coyote shows up undetected. <laughs> That's on the next episode of Coyote Culture.